I'm Johan from Seda Music and today we'll be showing you how to restring a guitar. So a few things to take note of, um, a few items that you'll be needing. Packet of strings, uh, we'll be doing a Daddario 9 gauge for this guitar, paired with a string winder just to help you wind and unwind the strings more easily. I'll also be using um, some sponges and a headstock stand. Um, this is just to keep the guitar from falling over or from getting scratched as well as some um, uh, fret oil and a sponge. This is going to help you just keep the neck nice and moisturized and a cleaning cloth. So I'm going to do the setup quickly and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so um, before we get started, just a note, um, you do need to know what, in what order the strings come. Uh, very quickly, it's E, A, D, G, B, E from top to bottom, thickest to thinnest string. Um, luckily, the Dodari strings that we'll be using are color-coded. Um, so I'll walk you through that as well. Okay, so as soon as you open the packet you will see um, there is a, a coding at the, at the top uh, telling you that the first string, the high E string is silver, the second string, the B string is purple and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, uh, I've been playing quite a while so I won't be using this but this is good to keep in mind when you're doing it. First step would be to detune the string so I'm going to be using the string winder for this. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that there is no note coming from the string at all. This is what we're doing right before uh, clipping the strings. So you want to make sure the strings sound like a date note basically. Okay, that sounds beautiful. Um, that's just so that you don't get hit in the face when you use these. Um, so very basic, you're just going to take the clipper, uh, cut it off right behind the, the uh, nut. Then once you've cut those off, um, it depends on the electric guitar that you have, but most of them, um, the strings come out and in from this side. Um, I forgot a screwdriver, so I'm just going to be back in a second. Screwdriver is the wrong size. <laughs> okay, so you want to take your screwdriver um, and just open up the back here. It's very, fairly simple. Uh, this is just going to allow you to open up properly and get easy access to the street. Okay, so now that the back is open, you just want to take the strings from the front here and just uh, make sure you get a firm grip there and just literally just put, push them back like that. Um, they should each push out to the back side over here if they're not being sticky. So now that the strings are off, this is a perfect op opportunity to uh, give your guitar a bit of a clean. Um, for the body, I'm just going to use a normal uh, clean cloth and then for the frets, we're going to use this uh, fret oil. So how the fret oil works is you just want to pop the lid right there and on the top of your sponge basically just dip it a tiny bit like that. Um, and then once it's uh, sucked in there, uh, you're just going to gently rub it across the fretboard. Uh, this just makes sure that the fretboard doesn't get too dry and it, all of the uh, finger gunk uh, stays off there. So we're going to take, here on the Dodaria set, it looks to be the, the brass or the gold string. Um, and what you want to do is you're going to flip the guitar around. Uh, make sure you take note of where the strings are supposed to be positioned. So we're going to take this, uh, this gold coated uh, string and put it right at the top here where the, the low E string will be. Once you've got that in, just 
flip the guitar around and pull the string out here from the front. So that we would just repeat this process for the rest of the strings. Okay, so now that the strings are all three, we're going to take it one string at a time and um, in this guitar's case, I'm going to make sure that the guitar string goes all the way through the post, um, just to help myself measure this. Um, you want to put the string through the way that it has just a tiny bit of slack and then what you want to do is you want to put your index finger on the nut right here while it's tight like this and then you're going to pull back one fret. Uh, this is to allow the guitar to have multiple windings, which helps with the tuning stability. So what you want to do is, once you have that mark, uh, you just want to uh, kind of mark the string by bending it off like this. This is just to tell yourself more or less where the string ended. Um, in this guitar's case, after my mark, I'm just going to give it about a centimeter, centimeter and a half um, leniency, and then I'm just going to cut it off like right there. Okay, and then once you put it in, you're going to bend the string off like this and start tuning. Not start tuning, start winding, I guess. I know the first string and the second string will be pulled back one fret. The next few strings after that, two frets, and then the, the very last string will be pulled back uh, three frets. So that's just to help you with that. Okay, so we're in the final stretch now. Um, what we're going to do now is tune your guitar. If you do not know how to tune a guitar, um, you're more than welcome to check this video out. Okay, so that's a fully restringed and tuned guitar. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was very helpful. Thank you.